Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl CC, aka the Pretty Sneed. Um, if this is your first time tuning into a video of mine, um, basically I enjoy makeup. That's the pretty part, and the sneak part is because I collect sneakers. Um, I haven't done a recent pickups video in a very long time, and I will show you guys like a little thumbnail of me carrying all the stuff. But honestly, it's too much shit so we're just gonna get into it i'm gonna get into um that almost fell i had to slide that up real quick honestly um this is gonna be a combination of sneakers and clothes i'm gonna start off with the sneakers because that's the easiest oh quick disclaimers though um don't judge my background i'm in the process of moving right now that's why there's so many like empty shoe boxes i just wanted to get rid of stuff that i wasn't wearing so i can make room for the things that are new and what i will actually enjoy and probably wear more often so we're gonna start with the shoes that i haven't even looked at yet i ordered them from sneakers i got lucky what i know that rarely happens let's be honest <laughs> you already know what it is or at least what type it is off of looking at the box. It is the Alele. This is my first time looking at it with y'all. So it's kind of like an unboxing at the same time. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to change it to the baby blue laces immediately. These are the Alele May Jordan 1s. I love, love, love the fur. Hold on, let me take both out. Oh, this is them right here. I absolutely love the fur on these. It is removable. Um, is it a snap closure? Yes. Yes, for the snap closure. With a, ooh, with a suede tongue. I love that it's a snap closure and not Velcro because that would have low-key looked tacky. And it has a leather um, insole. For the tongue. That is so classy. Okay, Laylee. I see you, girl. Yes. That's real cute. Um, If you guys follow Laylee May on Instagram, you'll probably see a lot of um, the different outfits she has created. And um, she does repost some outfits that she likes, too, with inspiration from these. Um, in combination with this, there was another pair with... Ooh, hold on now there was a pair of jordan tens um it was a lady may that designed the jordan one and maya Moore that i don't know if she designed the 10 but she definitely was the face of the 10 maya Moore is a wnba player i love when women really come together and have creative ideas and actually do such powerful projects together to make an impact and show young girls like you know you can do this too so next up is a pair of air force ones these are the john elliott i know i look really dark right now but i really want to get into the details of this shoe so these are the john elliott air force ones this is not his first pair of ones that he's designed with nike but i really wanted to get into detail about this shoe so the swoosh here is cut out um if you can tell there is a divot there's a double tongue which is phenomenal i really like that and there's a double um crease here too which it's like the details on the shoe is just really dynamic and i i love it a lot i even love the silver detailing on the lace plate and on the aglet it's very different from what you would typically see it's so simple but it's different from your classic um low top air force ones i really did want to pick these up and they were sitting john like, elliott is a designer he even has his own uh clothing line i'm not gonna front and be like oh yeah i follow john elliott since whatever you know i'm not that type of girl i never even heard of john elliott until i was working at nike lab and that's when i started to really divulge into learning who he was but if you're into like quality basics you should definitely check him out okay, so next shoe like i'm not gonna front like there was a part of me that was thinking maybe i shouldn't even buy these um but then i've been wanting a pair of these for a very long time and i was like okay well i'll buy them and then when i got them i even contemplated if i should even show it on my channel because 
he has been saying some really outlandish shit and been doing some outlandish shit. But at the end of the day, like, you can't knock him for his fashion sense. So, anyways, <laughs> I went ahead and got these Yeezys. <laughs> My first pair of 350s, everybody like raves about how comfortable these are. I still haven't tried them on. These are the Sesame. Excuse the lighting, you guys. Oh my God. I'm so the reason why I got this color and the reason why I really wanted this color is because they're so similar to the Oxford Tans. When those came out, I was like, those are perfect. I think those came out when I was in high school or college. I don't remember. But I remember when they came out, I was like, dang, those would look so good with my uniform. These are really, really, really dope. Like, I just love this color. It really does go with everything. Yeah. Never worn. I got them from... Which website? Did I get these from Easy Supply? I got Lucky. And I got these from... No, I got these off Adidas.com. The other pair I got off Easy Supply. So I'm really glad I finally have my hands on a pair of 350s. I'll let you know how comfortable they are or not. Or if it's really worth the hype. Next up is a pair of the 700s. I don't have the original. I'm still debating on if I really want the original. But we'll see. Um, these are the mauve. When I first saw the photo of these, I had to get them. Because this chocolate like color brown is just so pretty to me and, and this touch of lime kind of like neon color right here it really just elevates the shoe to the next level um it makes it even more hype because lime and neon is very popular this season and i don't know these are just so cute i'm so glad that i'm finally like doing the video for these so i can wear these i probably won't wear them anytime soon um only because the snow is finally starting to trickle down here in chicago and suede and salt <laughs> do not mix <laughs> and i don't care how much crepe protect or whatever you put on your shoes baby <laughs> salt will eat through it so just be mindful of that speaking of neon <laughs> I had, when i saw these on the sneakers website i had to get these like i have a hat that matches these to a t they're looking very yellow on screen um, but they're uh, they're basically a highlighter green, highlighter yellow. I love these Air Force Ones because of the loop detail here in the the pull tab, and I really like the written details here in the. I really like the written details here on the swoosh in the background. That's it gives it such like a cute character. Um, but yeah, these. Air Force Ones, they're just really dope. I feel like even if you don't get this color, you should at least get one pair. Because it's something about these that just gives a, a, a classic shoe a little bit more of a modern look. And I, I think they're dope. My friend Paris got these for me. These are so cute. White booties are so in right now. So in for the season. These are Vera Wang. I absolutely love these there are so many different ways that these can be worn um i love this like exposed zipper detail right here in the front with the loop on the zipper like girl and it's a i guess it's a patent leather but it's not super shiny paris if you're watching this thanks boo um yeah these are just so cute like i love the combat style chunky black heel I love that the bottom is black because then it doesn't really dirty up the rest of the shoe. Like, it doesn't make the white look messy or dirty. I just, it's, it's bomb. Like, this is such a pretty shoe. Booties are a must. Honestly, I didn't start wearing booties until this year. I was solely just a sneaker girl. Sneakers and boots, but yeah. <laughs> Get you a pair of white booties. It will literally take your look from casual to damn she fine okay <laughs> if you're from chicago um i definitely recommend visiting this restaurant called nini's deli Ugh. the food is so good like there's only three entrees on the menu but they're bomb anyways <laughs> well let me not talk about food because someone told me i talk about food too much i eat clearly 
Um, but yeah, so the owner, Juan, has a brand called Chicago Native. He had, and whenever he releases clothing, it only comes out that one time and it doesn't come back. So I got the orange neon, you know, just right in the neon wave. And Nike had a pop-up event where you could like customize your shoes. So I got a pair of black ones. You could choose black and white, but I have so many white ones. I just said, okay, let me go ahead and get black. So I got these. It says Chicago Native. My handwriting is very bad. Um, I put some orange on the back. I put Pretty Sneed on these plates here. And I removed the swooshes to give more of a rugged, like, loose thread kind of look on both the inside and outside. I really like that. That's that's cute to me. And I changed the laces to leather. So, will I wear these? Eh, maybe, maybe not. Oh, and I did a double tongue also inspired by John Elliott. Um... Yeah, the experience was fun. I like when Nike has events like those because it gives you a chance to like meet and interact with other sneakerheads and sometimes influencers are there too and some of them be acting like they shit don't stink. But, but girl, <laughs> woo, let me shut my mouth. So before the new year, um, I was trying to like declutter my closet declutter my shoe wardrobe and everything and I thought about um what I want my wardrobe to look like in 2019 I considered doing the whole um minimalist thing just sticking to blacks whites and grays so when I was in that thought process I picked these up these are the M2Ks in the black and white color. M2K is basically just a modernized version of the Monarchs that, you know, the ultimate dad shoe. Uh, and I got these. These are really cute to me. I like how simple they are. I like that you can literally throw these on with anything and look put together. It's a very athleisure shoe. <laughs> and I live in athleisure. And I like athleisure is very um in now <laughs> but um yes yeah, so i got these clearly i'm not gonna stick with the whole minimalist wardrobe i mean day to day i'll probably dress minimalist but i like my pops of color and stuff here and there too so yeah um i got these so comfortable i haven't worn these but i have another pair that are that I really like and I've worn into the ground. But M2Ks, if you don't get a chance, you should definitely pick up a pair because they're worth Okay, so these were a Christmas gift from my nephew. Um, he knows that I like 97s. Of all the old school Air Maxes, the 97 is my favorite. I just like the way it makes um, your foot look slender and slim. So my nephew got me these. These are so cute in the navy color with the touch of um red. Well, is it? Well, yeah, it's like an infrared orangish color. I believe these were a general release. Um I am going to change the Oh. I'm going to change the lace, laces on these to possibly orange just so the swoosh detail and the inside pops out more or even yellow. I really like these. These are cute. I really like these. These are these are dope. I don't really have much else to say about them, but yeah. And I love them. These are dope. Like I know and my my Lenciaga will probably drag me in the mud, but these are so cute. This wedge, it makes me feel like Edna from The Incredibles or Kim Possible. No, or She Go. Like it's just so nice. It's all over leather with this white stripe. And and they're comfortable. The heel is about three inches. Uh, I got them from Nordstrom. So, yeah. These are... I like these a lot. I wore them for New Year's so, Eve. Now, into the clothes. So, first up being this hoodie from the Diane Garcia collection with Nike and Nordstrom, maybe. Um... 
I got her shorts also. They're put up somewhere. I'm a little disappointed only because I felt like she deserved more than just the hoodie. It was a hoodie, shorts, a jacket, and I think some pants, but I'm not 100% sure. All I got was the hoodie, which is basically a men's hoodie with the sides cut out. And her shorts with the double layer. Here's the Diane Garcia shorts. So this is what I'm talking about. It has that double band. I like it has this. You can fold this down to and have it say Nike Pro in the back. Has this all across Nike band right here. And then this is where the drawstrings are. And you have some mesh detailing here at the bottom. That's cute. So Laquan Smith who's a stylist, has a collection with ASOS. I picked up these shorts. Make your bum look. But I'm up. Okay. I really like these. Um, I know some people probably picked this up to wear for New Year's Eve, but girl, I'm in Chicago. It is too cold for that. So I picked those up. I grabbed his um, plaid, mixed plaid button down. I really like this. I picked this up to wear it as a dress with my Doc Martens that I got from ASOS also. <sighs> so bomb. I like I like it a lot, as you can see. So. I got these sweatpants from Lounge Underwear. I really like the double band situation they have. Like, how thick this band is. Like, girl. Love it. I got a size extra large. I haven't tried it on yet. So hopefully my butt looks good in these. Because if not, baby... <laughs> Is going busy back blazer dress from ASOS. Um, I tried this on. I definitely have to wear something under this, even though the model didn't. But I, I have a heavy chest and I can't do that. This dress is from Collusion. Sweater dress. Oh my God, the neck on this. Obsessed. So so cute. So so cute. I was literally just looking for a dress that fell properly fell a little loose but still gave me shape you know and I um went up no I stayed true to size so it it's a loose fit but it still like hugs the right way if that makes sense yeah that's about it thank you so much for watching I appreciate that you stayed this long if you made it to the end please give this video a thumbs up go ahead and share it with your friends and leave a comment down below on what you would like to see more from me. Alright, well, peace and booty grease. Bye, y'all. Bye.